everybody. Oh, I wonder if I should have grabbed my hat. Oh, I am sitting in the doorway of my shed. Um, had to go to town this morning. I hated to do it, but I had no choice. I had to get some hay. Um, if it wasn't for having to feed the boys because they're penned up, I wouldn't be feeding hay right now. But unfortunately, they can't, uh, they can't get out and browse right now. So I had to get some hay. It's good hay. It's quality hay. Um, I had bought three bales about eight days ago, and uh, they've been loving it, and they've been putting weight on. Uh, you can tell their rumens are full. They're doing really well. So I went back, and I cleaned them out. They only had seven bales left because somebody was ahead of me uh, getting hay. I don't know if she got three or four bales, but uh, I got I grabbed seven. And that's all they had. Um, I think I might have been able to fit one more bale in the back of the truck, but hey, it is what it is. So anyway, they'll eat for another couple weeks, I guess. Um, so anyway, what is this update about? Well, how about a carnivore update? We haven't had one for a little bit. Um, I've been doing fairly well. Um, it's just my, I had my husband pick up a bag of uh, pork rinds for me because sometimes I just need a little something um, and uh, dipping those in a little bit of sour cream, you know, it'll kind of take that little edge away um, until I actually have dinner. But uh, the ones he picked up, they were smoky flavored and I only ate a couple. I was like, this doesn't taste right. They taste sweet. Check the ingredients. They had sugar in them. So I put them in a Ziploc bag and maybe one of these days he'll eat them. I don't know, but I won't be eating them. And someone had, uh, I think it's Naisha Berry. Um, she had warned about getting um, pork rinds that were flavored. I was like, I didn't even think about it. I didn't even look at the bag. You know, my husband picked them up. I mean, he knew I didn't like barbecue, so. Um, but... Uh, Come to find out they were smoke flavored and yeah, they've got sugar. So I put them away. Um, I don't think those few pieces I had will hurt me any. Um, but anyway, since I, we had to go to town, I mean, I don't wear my farm clothes to town if I can help it. Like if I'm just running in real quick, I don't have to go into any stores. I'm picking up something for the farm, maybe. Um, but generally speaking, I don't like wearing my farm clothes into town. So I changed. I was like, okay, what am I going to wear? Well, I grabbed, I have a, a bin still that has some clothes in it. And uh, there was three pairs of shorts in there. And uh, I haven't worn them in a while. But there was one pair of shorts that I bought back before we made the move down here. And, uh, I mean, I had been on keto and I was losing weight. And this pair of shorts, they were a little bit snug still. I could get them on, but they were just a little bit snug. And I wasn't comfortable wearing them out in public. So I put them away thinking I was going to lose more weight. Well, when we moved down here, uh, because of everything going on, I ended up going off keto. It was just, uh, <sighs> had to go for the convenience. And that convenience is never good. So anyway, today I put them on. They were not snug, they were not tight, they were a perfect fit. So that is what I wore to town today. It's this pair of shorts that I bought over four years ago. It's like, I didn't realize I had lost that much weight. So that made me feel really good, uh, talk about an encouragement. Um, so I don't own a scale. I have no idea how much weight I've lost. Uh, the next time I end up going to the doctor, um, which who knows when that's going to be, um, I'll be, they're, they're going to be putting me on, uh, Medicare pretty soon. I hate that. Absolutely hate it. But I don't have a choice. I honestly do not have a choice. Um, so when they put me on Medicare, I guess they want me to go and have some, some stuff checked out 
and so um, that's probably when I'll get weighed again because like I said I don't have a bathroom scale I'm just strictly going by how I'm feeling and how my clothes fit so and that's it so anyway so that's my update um, I did get my uh, the last palette the plywood palette pretty much broken apart I got a few panels there I need to take the nails out of um, right now this time of day it's hot it's muggy um, I have hay I need to put away but there's absolutely no way I'm even gonna try to get it put away right now because there's way too many four-footed volunteers to help do the job if you get my drift so as a matter of fact right now I see Ashley cuddling with Buddy right there under the edge of my truck. I wish I could show you, but I don't think this thing will let me turn you around. So anyway, this is Mom H with Honey Hollow Homestead. I'm doing very well in the carnivore, and if anybody out there has health issues, not and not just weight issues, but other health issues, I strongly encourage you to look into it. There's several doctors on YouTube uh, from several different uh, d disciplines that support the, um, the carnivore diet. Um, at the very least, the keto diet, there's keto, ketovore, carnivore. So I am pretty much mostly carnivore. Um, just the odd stray, if you want to call it a stray, um, but it's not really that much. Uh, and it's not even on a weekly basis. It's less than that even. So, but anyway. I will talk to you all later. I'm going to go get back in and, and uh, sit in front of the fan while I wait for these goats to finally decide to go off and get something to eat other than the hay. Talk to you all later.